906 is the time right now. Now to the district. Uh, who's excited for opening day? Everybody's excited for opening day in most cases. I, I know many of you are. Uh, Steve, Tucker, hi, everybody. We all are excited. Go Nats! Jeanette, <laughs> Marissa, the boys are back in business near Nats Park, hoping for a big boom tomorrow. But some restaurants and bars crying foul this morning after an order from the city. Fox 5's Bob Barnett joins us now to explain what this is all about. Bob, uh, what's going on here? Well, Wisdom, it's actually one place that's uh, at the center of this new controversy. It's called Walter's Sports Pub here at the intersection of N Street and South Capitol Street Southeast. So there's Nats Park right across the street. That's the parking garage. And the issue is here. They've had a streetery for about two years blocking, you know, one of the lanes here that's heading westbound. Uh, and according to the owner, Jeremy Gifford, he was told yesterday by DDOT that he's got to take this thing down uh, at least three hours before every home game until two hours after every home game. But take a look. There are DDOT officials here, uh, the uh, mayor's uh, deputy mayor for uh, business development. John Falcecchio is here as well. Uh, what he's told me is it's a work in progress. They're trying to figure things out right now. So they are meeting with Jeremy Gifford, the owner. These are DDOT and city officials trying to figure out what's the deal because uh, Mr. Gifford says just yesterday he got the stop work order to tear this streetery down in time for tomorrow's game. This is a pretty big thing that I constructed. It cost a lot of money. We have heat lamps and lights. Um, we've got flowers. We've got picnic tables. If I tried really hard, it would probably take me a week to, to bring this down. Um, so I don't know what the recourse is. I don't know what the fine is for it taking me however long it's going to take me to take it down. Jeremy Gifford says the stop work order from DDOT came out of the blue and at the last minute says he's booked with reservations for tomorrow, opening day for the Nats, says he's not sure what to do if he can't use the streetery set up here. Tell some of his staff not to come to work? Gifford says DDOT listing public safety and traffic safety concerns for their order telling him to tear all this down doesn't make sense to him. I was kind of stunned uh, and, uh, and didn't understand where that came from. Couldn't get a lot of uh, answers out of them other than public safety. Um, to the best of my knowledge, there's never been a traffic accident out here. There's never been a pedestrian issue, um, but, uh, but that's what they told me. And again, we're looking live. Jeremy is here listening in as uh, city officials, DDOT officials confer, trying to figure out what's going on. The Nats say this has nothing to do with them. We hadn't gotten anything official from DDOT until this morning when, again, uh, the deputy mayor for economic development said, uh, give us a minute. We're trying to figure things out. Uh, Mr. Gifford says that uh, this streetery represents roughly 20 percent of his business. And because of the streetery, he's been able to survive the pandemic. But without it, uh, for, for the games, and if he's got to tear down this structure, guys, it's going to be a big hardship. So, again, we'll leave you with this image. Hopefully we'll find a resolution here shortly. Something's trying to be worked out, it appears, between city officials and the owner of Walter's Sports Bar. Yeah, Bob, is he the only one in out. and around there? I mean, did anybody else? Is anybody else in the same situation yeah, or no? No. As, as far as we know, this is the only one. And yeah, it does kind of come up to the corner of South Capitol Street, uh, and it does take up one of the two lanes here on uh, N Street, but uh, it, it appears that it's only him. And mm. maybe it's because it's this big structure, but we're not really sure. We haven't gotten an explanation yet. All right, well, keep us posted. Yeah, Hopefully absolutely. maybe we'll learn within our show. Thanks, Bob. All right, your time is 9-10.